It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. It's kind of cool when you can trace a bunch of rock history to a single moment, thanks to a single song, or at least it can appear that way. It was on this date in 1965 that two things happened. The Yardbirds went public with their first big hit, For Your Love, and... Eric Clapton quit the band. He hated the new sound of the band and that song in particular. He was a blues purist and was not interested in commercial success. On his way out, he recommended good friend Jimmy Page, who the band had approached about replacing Clapton the year before. But Page had refused then out of loyalty. This time he refused because he was already doing fine as a session musician. He recommended Jeff Beck, which began his nearly two-year stint with the band. Toward the end of his tenure, Jimmy Page came around and started with the Yardbirds on bass before moving to guitar after founding member Chris Drea took over the bass. Eventually, they also needed a new vocalist and settled on... Robert Plant, and then a drummer, which went to John Bonham. And when Chris Drea decided to become a rock photographer, John Paul Jones joined up, and you can see where this is going. With all the dramatic changes, the all-new band decided to go by the new Yardbirds, but Chris Drea ordered a cease and desist, which forced them to decide on a new name entirely, one that was originally a joke made by Keith Moon and John Entwistle of The Who, who said that the new band would go down like a lead balloon. The new Yardbirds became... Led Zeppelin. And if you want, you can trace it all back to Eric Clapton being grumpy about this song and leaving the band on this date in 1965. For your love from the Yardbirds. This morning's WTTS background check. It's the WTTS.